Hi, I'm Nancy Fowler Johnson. I'm a co-owner and general manager of Fowler Nurseries Incorporated. Proud to say that I'm a third generation nursery person and our business has been here since 1912. So we're celebrating 99 years. We're, we're pleased to be here in the foothills and we raise fruit and nut trees for commercial orchardists along with four seedlings for reforestation. We farm about 600 acres here and along with 100 acres in another county where we have mother tree orchards of uh, the varieties, budwood, seed, things such as that, and also test orchards in other locations. We're pleased to be helping with this video to explain a little bit more about fumigation. Fumigation, is the whole process is a chemical that is, uh, for us, injected into the soil to help us eradicate any pests or pathogens that may be present in our soil. For the nursery industry to sell our products, we must be certified with the state of California. And in order to do that, the best way is for us to fumigate our soils. And as you can see from the video that we will be sh you'll be seeing is the actual process of soil fumigation along with a tarping process that helps to retain that fumigant down in the soil for a period of time. The biggest advantage for us is the nematode um, eradication in our soils and that's what really the state is after. Those nematodes are very devastating to root systems and for our industry that's very critical. We don't want to be shipping a product that is already infested with nematodes. So we want the trees to start off uh, with a very good start and to be productive uh, for the growers and to produce a great crop for them in the future. So that's important for all of our nursery stock. We would hate to have to uh, throw away our whole crop just because we have nematodes at the end of the season. For us, it's critical to have the ability to do soil fumigation. We couldn't produce a bare root fruit and nut tree or a forest conifer seedling of the quality and of the type that we do. Our trees take up to three years to grow and we would be devastated if we didn't have soil fumigation to be able to be certified. We would lose 60 plus employees that have been with us for a considerable period of time and we would not have the ability to pr produce the trees that, that we do for the growers. And without soil fumigation, I'm afraid the pathogens and the nematodes would win. I know a major question is, is fumigant safe for food? Is it safe for our environment? It's safe for food. We're grazing fruit and nut trees. The tree is, is in our fields for one to three years and then it goes to the grower and it's three years before the fruit produced. It's long gone. There's not an issue with fumigants being latent in the trees or any issue like that. Environment. You'll see from our video of where we're located, we've still got oak trees, we've still got a lot of extra natural habitat here. We, we have uh, some of the wildlife we'd rather not have because they like to eat the trees, but as far as it affecting the, the environment, uh, I think actually it benefits it in many ways because we can rely on a safe food source for our own use from here in the United States. You know, fumigation is actually a very safe process. I think in most cases, fumigation is done by highly specialized, trained crews that know what they're doing. They have the utmost safety precautions that go on. They're specific to the, the need. And I would say by all means that fumigation is, an, is, is something that we, we need to have as a tool in our toolbox to continue agriculture. So, as you can see, we've been here a long time. I've talked about that. We would like to continue to be here. My daughter is fourth generation and is in starting the nursery. Next year, it's party time, 100 years. Thank you very much.